Welcome back to Oklahoma City. Today, the Vans Wakeboard Challenge here in the Pro Wakeboard Tour. There's Danny Watkins heading out for his first of two passes, one of a number of young Australian wakeboarders making their presence known here on the U.S. Tour. We're here in central Oklahoma looking for the invasion of the Australian wakeboard team. We found tracks right here of the Sandorius Joshness, and I think otherwise known as Joshy Sanders. Oh, look at this specimen. He actually right now found in his natural habitat, looking for water so he can throw front mobs and KGBs. Otherwise looking for the Wakaninus Danuas. If you look right now, Daniel Watkins, oh, there he is. Oh, that is a beautiful specimen. Look at the intelligence of this human. Unbelievable. But now we must be very quiet when sneaking through the woods, looking for the Azenaris Bretoris, otherwise known as the Ike Eisenhower. Sometimes they hide in trees for days at a time. We can't see them coming from anywhere. But then out of nowhere, oh, oh, there goes one right now. That was the Ike Eisenhower. And these Australians are batty. <laughs> You're watching way too much TV, brother. Danny Watkins on the water now. He is the two-time Aussie national champion. He is set for run one of two. Daniel Prime for some good wakeboarding today. There goes an off-axis 540. This kid's putting together some pretty good tricks. Big S-Bend, second trick, first pass. Remember, all these wakeboarders, two passes, and then you get the double up. Judges are looking at execution, style, and intensity. And so far, intensity, a big plus for Danny. Sure is. Danny Watkins, oh, barely getting the railing. Ollie's halfway up that ramp before he gets the pump off the top. That was an incredible job and good recovery for Daniel Watkins. He gets one more trick at the end of the pass, but what a great, great first pass for Watkins. Tell you what, you get a good look right there of a good looking S bend. Well out into the flats, a great landing. Watch again as he comes in. This is pretty big. Can't do it better than that. Tell you what, that was awesome. Get a look right here. You don't even get an idea how close he was here. He barely gets the railing. You can see he doesn't quite go as huge as he normally does. All he's up, halfway up the ramp, and has the presence of mind to do the pump off the top. That was an incredible look. Now take a look at this again. Yeah, we see it from the angle we just did. I don't think he had a choice but to Ollie halfway up the ramp. It was either come in contact via head and face or Ollie up halfway. And then he was lucky to pull that down. Man, what a snag for Danny Watkins. Boats turned around. We're heading back down the lake now. Here comes pass number two. Looking pretty happy after that first run. Danny Watkins putting it together. I think the judges will reward him well. Does the Pete Rose to start it off with. A very technical trick. Back roll the blind. Oh. oh, just exposed that edge and went down. Boy, Danny Watkins had a great first pass, good second pass opener, a couple of tricks. And, you know, he was negotiating the water better than anybody we've seen so far today. Boy, sure was. I tell you, you get a good look at the Pete right here. That was an incredible trick. And then he comes back the other direction. Let's take a look at it again. Seems to have everything okay right there, but then on the roll to blind, just kind of goes down. Watch this. He comes around about right there. He chops the wake and gets his weight a little back. That exposes that front edge when he gets his balance back and just goes down. Well, he gets to get back up in time to get down the lake and get the double up. All the riders on the tour have the opportunity for one fall, and then if they fall a second time, it's done. Tell you what, you saw the Scarecrow there just pumping in a few last tricks before the end of the lake. A very short course here. He had to rush those in. He's going to need something big off this double up. Boat turns 180 degrees. The wakes converge. <laughs> oh, double back roll. Danny Watkins put together an incredible double up, exactly what he needed. Watch him here. Plenty of rotation. He just stuck this thing. One more look, Doug. Watch this as he cuts around. Oh, beautiful. Danny Watkins, an unfortunate fall on otherwise a stellar day. One fall that might keep him out of the lead. Danny, man, after the fall, you needed something big. Got the double back off the entire double up, man. Tell us about that. 
yeah, I was really bummed after falling on that roll to blind. It's something I do in my sleep, you know. But um, then I knew I had to come up and back it up with something pretty big. That's why I did two pretty easy tricks. After that, I just did a front flip and then a scarecrow because I knew that uh, I wanted to hit the double up and then I hit it, so I'm stoked. All right, good ride.